Today we're going to be talking about one of the most common pests known to tomato plants and that would be what we're looking at right here. You can see they're really good at disguising themselves. We are looking at a hornworm. This one is a tobacco hornworm and we can uh, tell it's a tobacco hornworm by its seven dashes along its body along with its red tail. This is the caterpillar of the Carolina Sphinx moth. Uh, another caterpillar that you might see on your solanaceous plants would be the tomato hornworm, which is different in that it has eight V-shaped markings on its side along with a blue horn. It's the caterpillar of the five-spotted hawk moth. So hornworms are laid, the eggs are laid on the tomato or solanaceous plant family groups and they hatch within three to five days. The caterpillars will undergo four to five different instars taking up to 30 days until they turn into those huge monster hornworms that can eat like an entire tomato plant in one day or so it seems. And once they've reached maturity, they will drop down to the ground and bury themselves in the soil to pupate. And they will emerge as moths within 12 or 21 days, so roughly three weeks. And then they will then go look for tomato plants for them to lay eggs on. When you're out in your garden looking for hornworm damage, it will often look like this. It will just be a leaf and that's totally gone. You'll see multiple places on the plant where the plant is just gone. And this is common damage caused by the hornworm. Another sign that you have hornworms in your garden will be seeing their frass. These tiny little black things are actually the chewed up remains of your tomato plant that have been excreted by the caterpillars. This year in my garden I've been incredibly lucky because while I do have hornworms I also have their natural predator, bractinoid wasps, living in my garden. And we can see right here signs of the wasps. So this is a tobacco hornworm that a bractinoid wasp laid its eggs inside of it and when they lay their eggs they typically lay 65 eggs inside a hornworm and while they're laying their eggs they also inject a poly DNA virus and what that does is it prevents the caterpillar's immune system from like ejecting the eggs so the eggs hatch inside the caterpillar they turn into larvae and then the larvae actually eat the caterpillar from the inside out. After about 18 days or so, the, uh, the wasps will crawl out of the caterpillar and then spin these silk cocoons, which is what you're looking at now. They'll spend about a week inside their cocoons and then they'll emerge as ractinoid wasps. And then they will go and seek their own caterpillar host. And this caterpillar here, you can see it's, it's alive, but it's not doing so hot. And this is what I like to see in my garden. <laughs> I like to see caterpillars being taken out by wasps so I don't have to do the dirty work myself. I've read that hornworms, once they have the cocoons of the wasp on them, they will not eat your plants. And here we can see a hornworm that has cocoons that is still feeding. Here we see a tomato hornworm that's on its way out. It's almost dead. Uh, the wasps have already cocooned, and that means that its days are very limited. It's hardly moving around at this point. Here we can see another hornworm that is further along in this process. You can see it's deceased now. You can even see, coming out of the cocoons, the little tips of the wasps that will be emerging soon. Here we have a totally deceased hornworm. Uh, most of the wasps in the cocoons have left already, and all that's left is the shell of what used to be a hornworm. A few days ago, I brought a bactoloid wasp cocoon into my house. And now he is hatched, or she is hatched. It's so tiny, it's the size of like a gnat, 
And these are the ones that lay the eggs on the horn arms. Okay, so that sums up my experiences with hornworms in the garden this year. Uh, my biggest takeaways is when you do start to get pests in uh, your garden, just leave them. Let the beneficial insects come in and take care of them themselves. Let them lay their eggs and uh, create a good population of themselves in your garden. Um, also, spreading out your plantings, having some tomato plants over here, some over here. Uh, so it's not all in just one chunk. Uh, that seems to help. And yeah, that's it. It was a decent tomato year for me this year, and I hope everybody got to eat lots of homegrown tomatoes because they really are the best as long as the hornworms don't get them.